Okay, so last October 17, which was last month, me and four of my friends, we went to South Korea. We went to Seoul. That was my first time in Seoul. And it was a really fun time. And I just want to make some content out of that experience. So I just want to do like a picture slideshow thing where I just show you pictures of what we did in Seoul and explain them to you. So it's like it's like a vlog, but after the fact. So it's a post vlog. That's like you'll see. <laughs> I just really want to show my pictures and like just share my experience in Seoul because it was really a fun trip. So let me just um, minimize my face here. And as you can see, I've already prepared my picture. So hold on. Let's start with day one. We were there for five days. So we, there's a fair amount of pictures or every day. So here's day one. Okay, day one. This is just a selfie. <laughs> This is a selfie of me at our Airbnb. For day one, we were going to Everland. So this was my get up for that. Now here, um, okay, this is a coffee shop. This is, it's called a Tucson place. We saw a lot of these around Seoul. Um, we never went into one, but there were a lot of branches of, of a Tucson place everywhere. This was by Myeongdong Station because according to our guide, we had to meet them by Myeongdong Station by this hotel. So we were walking around and we saw this place. It looked really cute. So we just took a picture. This is me and Jack. We were waiting for the bus. This is Jacqueline. I wish Jacqueline would make this her profile picture. Jack again. This is Ken. Ken never smiles. I don't know why he never smiles. Ken, you should smile more. <laughs> more selfies. Uh, it was a long time. We were waiting a long time. We were supposed to be there by 9. I think we got there 8. <laughs> we got there really early. More selfies. More selfies. Here. Okay, so this is the actual entrance of Everland. Um, it was really crowded. We went there on a Friday because we wanted to go on a weekday since it would be less people, supposedly. But no. There were a lot of people. There were so many people. There were so many groups like ours. Like just lots of tour buses coming in and lots of people gathering in circles. And we had to wait outside because our guide was the one who went inside to buy the ticket. So yeah, it was kind of a hectic day. A hectic start to the day. Um, here is a stereotypical travel picture of me holding up the tickets against the backdrop of Everland. Um, this is what you see when you go inside. So I guess like this is supposed to be like European something. Um, it looks okay. Everland was really confusing. Using. I didn't know what the theme was like they had different lands like they do in Disneyland you know they had a Zootopia as soon as you entered and then towards the back they had like a European adventure thing and they had like a land inspired by America but like I I don't know what the tone was supposed to be <laughs> for Everland. It was kind of confusing. Uh, okay, we're here. This is a picture I took in Zootopia. We were gonna, so this is a picture I took in Zootopia. We were gonna go and see the, um, animals. The penguins. Yeah. Penguin. There's more penguin. There's a penguin close up because you could, because the penguin could swim up to the glass. You could see. Okay, we just skipped to this. So, um, the first ride we rode that day was like the water rafting ride, the circle one that goes around and around and around and you got wet. And while in line, a lot of people were holding this, like, it's like, meat on a stick thing and it's like what is this is that good and it's like after the first ride we went to try it and it's you know it's just like a chicken stick chicken stick on a stick but like it was dipped in sauce it was okay it was good here's a siberian tiger i think yeah Ooh, closer picture there's a lion a female lion there's a pair of lions a female and a male three male lions tigers three tigers and yeah these are bears um some of the pictures you couldn't actually see the animals because they had their backs to us most of the time this was the best picture i got of the bear okay and this is the european adventure um uh, as you can see in the back it's supposed to be like the Netherlands or something and there in the top left this is their famous roller coaster it's called um, T Express none of my friends wanted to ride it so I went on it alone <laughs> I was alone the whole line it was really fun and there were no loops because it was an old wooden roller coaster I think it was like I don't know if the Germans built it or if it was based off a roller coaster in Germany but there were a lot of German signs it was really fun it would have been better if I had someone with me but you know whatever here's me on a bench with the Netherlands in the um so yeah we got there it was almost fall or fall was starting so some of the trees were already starting to change colors as you can see here there's like a red pink thing in the side um we never really it never really completely changed colors but it was starting so that was kind of cool because you know we don't have that here in the Philippines and we skipped the night time so yeah this is the night time this is the same this is the same shot I took in the first part so it's just like at night all right uh, this is my dinner we had like a burger at the US part the United States part of Everland this I don't get this is this is the worst name <laughs> for a cafe it's like someone someone in the back was like 
what's the most American name we can think of? And they were like, oh, let's call it the Burger Cafe America. It was really weird. It's like they were trying really hard to make it seem like the state side. Yeah, the, well, the food was good, so whatever. Ooh, and here's like, I'm not sure what land this was, but it was the one with the umbrellas, as you can plainly see. Yeah, it looked cool. This is a lot smaller than it looked. It was like just a hallway. Um, I think this was the music garden in the background. There's the Ferris wheel with a moon on it. They have the, this light show in the night. The Ferris wheel plays a part in that. I think the Ferris wheel was down most of the day. Uh, here is the carousel. We never rode it, but it looked pretty. More of the park. park. Oh, here's like um, Netherlands. <laughs> like there were so many stalls, but all of them sold like the same food. It was like no by no variety. Maybe like an alcoholic drink, but then like all the snacks were the same. Yeah, just more nachos. This was after the fireworks. The fireworks were a lot. <laughs> it's like they were overcompensating for something, but it was a lot. There was a song that sounded like the greatest showman, but then the the Korean edition it was it was bizarre it was weird it was a fun day I mean overall <laughs> um, we were on the way back and like the sign that said Everland was empty so it's like we all just went up and like let's take a selfie let's take a quick selfie oh this is the airport I think it was so <laughs> I had a watermelon soda so next is day two day two we went to Nami Island which is where every tourist goes to when you go to Korea and uh, this is just a picture of the train um, on the left you can see Bianca Jack and Kat that is like a picture of them from across the aisle. I'm not sure what this is. I think this was just one of the restaurants maybe? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so this is me on the ferry from like going to Nami Island. This was the only time I got to wear all the autumn things I bought that wore my gloves and my scarf and my beanie because it was really cold. It was the only time I got to wear all three. Um, this is a sideways selfie um, with the flags in the background. It was a really cold day. You could see your breath, so that was really cool. Here's Nami Island. As you can see, the trees aren't, like the trees haven't changed color. Color. You can still see it's mostly green, but it still looks very. Uh, this is my favorite pose, like just standing there and like looking up to the left or right. Mm -hmm. It's just a zoomed in picture. Another picture using the focus uh, feature on Instagram. This is Jack in her koan, in her trench coat, which she got for a steam. This is like one of the few parts of the island where the leaves change colors. Like, um, <laughs> it was still really, really green. Um, <laughs> So it would seem like the colors change. Uh, this is a nice picture. It just fall. Nami Island. It's a peaceful little island. Oh, this is like a postcard picture. You can, like, there's a family of three in front of like this beautiful backdrop of the trees and they're changing colors and there's like this little sign in front that I can't read. Uh, more dramatic pictures of the, the parallel trees. Like I think that's always a cool shot. Uh, you know, parallel trees or like parallel lines. Like, that always looks really good in pictures. I think I was just playing with focus. Focus on the tree, focus on the tree. Fo mm, more pictures of trees. Like that's basically what's there. There's just a lot of trees and there's like a lot of water features as well. I think I have more pictures further. Here's like one of the trees that's just gone full autumn. <laughs> it was okay. Oh, just another picture of me. Lots of trees. What I can say about Nami Island is that the pictures don't do justice to the place because the place is really beautiful. The pictures, they can't, I don't have the capacity to um, make the pictures look as good as the place actually is. Here's another postcard picture I took. It's like a couple walking by the trees and like with a field on the side. <laughs> just me taking a bunch of pictures of strangers. Oh, here's Ken and Ken with a very dramatic thing. I think we were on top of a hill. There was a random hill somewhere. And, you know, we made them sit on a log and smile and stuff. Oh, and there's me <laughs> in the same spot by myself. Here's Jack. I think these are all pictures of Jack now in this part. Yeah, just pictures of Jack by the hill. I think she asked me to take a picture. These are good pictures, Jack. Yeah, here's one of the water features. A bridge. Or something. And there's Jack again. I don't know. Okay, this is like just greetings in different languages. You can see the Philippines right there. System. Awesome. Yeah, more of that. Lots of trees. Here's Cat. And here's Cat in a very dramatic picture more parallel lines it that's that's basically what you go to nami island for more parallel lines and trees sideways sorry about that here is like our best group picture together that's not a selfie <laughs> okay so after that we went to the gangchon rail bike but we were there really early so we stopped by the cafe which was near the train station i don't know what that says but it was a really good cafe i like their drinks yeah this is our drinks i think those are three ice mochas and they give us these free cookies down here and
and also I got I just got some chocolate because I don't really like coffee. Selfie, Ken's eyes are closed. <laughs> rail park. The rail park was really fun. I don't think I have that many pictures. Ooh, Doge. Their dog. Doggo. New zoomed in pictures of the dog. Rail. Like, this is what the rail bike looks like. This thing here. It's like, they basically turn the old rails, like train rails, they turn them into like, um, a tourist spot so that people can like bike on them. Um, they made it look like it was like books. I don't know what they were going for. <laughs> I don't know what that had to do with the rail bike, but you know. Mm. Yeah, there's a ticket in front of the umbrellas. A uh, picture of just the umbrellas. This is us on the rail bike. I don't think I took that many pictures, but I remember taking lots of videos. I might insert that or maybe yeah, we were on the way out, me taking a selfie. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that. Like there's rails and then they built these like special bike things so you could bike on the rail. It was really pretty. It was like a very beautiful the like, Korean countries are oh, there by the river. This is like one of my favorite pictures here. I guess you went through a cave and when you went to the other side, you could see this river by the side. It's beautiful. Me and Jack, selfie. Oh, it's sideways. After the bike ride, we had to like walk 15 minutes to get to the train station. It was a brutal walk. <laughs> well, we took a lot of pictures on lemonade or apple aid. Oh, this is Hongdae. This is where we had dinner, some yuk ish kind of food, milk tea. There's Ken Cat. And yeah, that was day one. No, no, day one and two.